communities across the country, and two men are taking steps to raise awareness. They're walking up the East Coast to do it. WNCT's Elizabeth Two caught up with them in Jacksonville. She joins us live. Elizabeth. Shayla, Brett Bramble, and John Azarola were a pretty conspicuous side walking along Highway 17 here, and that's kind of the point to get you to stop and ask them about drug overdoses. The duo began their descent into Jacksonville around 8 a.m. this morning, making strides to turn the tide of the epidemic and spreading smiles along those miles. The idea behind the walk came after both men faced losses due to overdoses. On January 27th, they left Key West. Florida in a bid for Fort Kent, Maine, and along the way, they're stopping in local communities like Jacksonville and getting people to talk about the issue. It's demanding. Uh, to say our feet don't hurt would be a lie, but when you have a grown man come up to you and ask you what you're doing, and you tell him, and he breaks down crying in your arms because he just lost a, a son or a daughter. Your feet stop hurting, the miles seem shorter, and you know in your heart you're doing the right thing. The duo travels 20 miles per day on average and is expected to make it to Maine by August. Their ultimate goal is to open a transitional retreat for those battling addiction. You are encouraged to join them on their travels, but if that's not really their, your thing, you can also do, donate on their website, freedomtogrow.org, or visit their Facebook page by the same name to keep up with their travels. Live in Jacksonville, Elizabeth Tew, 9 on your side.